Hey, shalom, brothers and sisters. Welcome back. I thank you again for joining me today. I just want to do a little little book review, and uh, and I, you know, I, like I said in my past videos, I love to read and uh, I love to share what I read with you guys, and and leave it up to you if you want to buy the books or check them out or whatever. And if you do, I'm not saying to agree with them or not agree with them. It's just you know. Mainly it's for like uh, people into theology and stuff like that, you know, just something to, you know, wet your whistle and something to consider. You know, you could accept it or reject it, you know. But anyways, uh, I got uh, four books right here and they were authored by uh, uh, a person named, called Reverend Anna Grace. Reverend Anna Grace and uh, uh, first book that I've got here is it's called where the devil hides right here and uh like i said this is all about you know theology a deep uh deep research in the scriptures and you know she talks about many many things about you know and different in the different books she talks about many different things uh ideas and you know goes through scriptures and talks about them and uh you know it's the books when I got these books, I got them on Amazon.com, and they weren't very expensive at all. I think, you know, the the cost of shipping equaled equaled the price of the books, which was uh, three three to six dollars, you know, in between there. But the next one, she here she talks about uh, the baptism the journey, the journey to death and back, right here. If you look at that. And you know, it's you know I've I only have four of her books. I've read them, but these are the types of books that you'd have to go back and read again carefully. You'd have to read them carefully and everything, check up on them, stuff like that. Um, and I plan on doing that in the near future. Read them again, but you know, I had my head scr scratching on several several for uh, you know ideas, ter interpretations, whatever. The third book here is so you think you know Jesus. This book right here, and that's the question: Do we really, you know, we know his name? We know well. We know the name. His real name's Yeshua, of course. But you know, people wanted to put the Greek in there, you know, so they call him Jesus. And you know, really, that's the question: Do we really know Messiah? Do we know who he is? What he is? What he stands for? Some people think, yeah, we we know everything. It's peace and love and grace and party time in a way but but um last one here i've got is an alternate alternative apocalypse a challenge uh to bible students and scholars so here she's challenging him challenging the bible scholars and bible readers and stuff to you know with her what's what, what she wrote in here and uh this book here though honestly the only thing i really didn't like about this book is uh the founts you know the printing, the founts, the letters are too small. I had to squint my eyes and everything, but but it took longer for me to read this than the other ones. But I, like I said, I'm going back and read them again, study them in more in depth, in more depth. But uh, but yeah, that was for this. That was uh, one of the only things that you know kind of I was a little hard of you know looking. I had to put the book up to my face basically, and uh, and uh, and to me another negative was in her books. Uh, when she she recites scriptures, but she does she didn't put down uh, scripture references like you know John two uh, verse four or anything. But that's no biggie to me. That's that's you know I could still find them verses and look them up. I could I I can do that. I mean I just know my verses. I know know my Bible and everything. I could look them up and check up on her and it, and it is and get having these books. You know, it'll make me really dig deep into my scriptures and look at them and, you know, with an open mind, of course. And I still let the scriptures interpret themselves. I don't try to interpret them or anything like that. But, you know, uh, if you got a few dollars to spare and you love theology and, you know, you want to accept a challenge or something, I suggest you try to you go online and try to get some of her books. You know, I, th I think there's some more. She has some more books on there, but I haven't. I haven't uh, obtained them yet or anything, but anyways, you know, when you go in there, you know, if you get them and you look at them, read them and everything, you know, it's up to you if you accept them, reject them, whatever, but at least, at least you, uh, 
at least you considered her point of view and you can't just sit there and say, I don't read them because I don't believe in them because you'd be ignorant. You don't, and ignorance doesn't mean you're stupid. You're just not informed. So anyways, that's all I want to say about that. I thank you again for joining me and uh, please comment below. If you've read these books or anything, let me know what you think about them uh, and uh, watch my other videos and uh, give me a big thumbs up. Hit that notification bell and I appreciate if you subscribe till we meet again. Peace out and shalom, brothers and sisters.